Now, March is International Women's Month, and we are honoring the Pittsburgh Puffins hockey team, which has a deep but untold history going back to the 90s. Puffins are fierce birds that live on the rocks. They fly up to 55 miles an hour. Puffins dive from the sky into the water and come up with their prey, victorious. These are the Pittsburgh Puffins, an all-inclusive hockey team that gives everyone in the 412 a chance to tackle the sport. But for many in the late 90s, including women, this was not the reality. There wasn't any opportunities back then to, for women to play hockey, just women specifically. One day, Joanne DeFazio, a staff member at a local skating center, noticed something. A special enthusiasm for the game coming from the moms watching their kids in the stands. Joanne DeFazio was learning how to skate herself and she thought it'd be really cool to get women involved um, in skating. She put these flyers out at the rinks uh, and you know the women who would see them would be the ones bringing their sons to play hockey. Soon Joanne had gathered enough interested moms to form a hockey team. Only one problem, a lot of the women had never even stepped foot on the ice. But Hockey Destiny smiled upon this mom team. They just happened to share a home rink with another very special group. The Mothers of Hockey practiced at the rink and did their drills and everything right before the Penguins came on for the most part. So the Penguins sometimes would actually even come out on the ice with them, which was pretty cool. Darius Kasparaitis helped them you know, do some clinics and everything. And um, they also had the assistant coach of the Penguins at the time, Troy Ward, come down and help as well. And thus, the Pittsburgh Puffins were born. And now, you know, 24 years later, here we are. We've won, you know, a few championships. We just, uh, our last season, we won the championship in our league. We are open to everybody to join us, um, whether you're a mom, dad, whether you're trans, whether you're, you know, non-binary. Everybody should have the opportunity to be on the ice, a safe area for people to learn. We are the 